전에서 시작하여 근대의 관광한 거리 한강을 중심으로 한 현대 서울의 발전 모습과 롯데월드타워의 건설 모습을 감상하실 수 있습니다. You can follow in the footsteps of Seoul's transformation into a modern city, beginning with Kim mm-hmm. Jong Jun Hong at Kim Do Kim Palace, built during the Joseon Dynasty, and on to Hwanghwan Street in the Han River during the early modern times. Not only that, you can watch how Rotte World Tower was built as well. E.T. Wan Sammy here, live in full effect. End of the Chuseok holiday. I am currently, as you can see, 486 meters above the city of Seoul. I am at Lotte World Tower here, enjoying the views on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday afternoon. We came here on Tuesday, and let me tell you something. It was insane. There was a two or three hour lineup just to get tickets. There was the entrance to come in here would have probably taken another couple of hours to get up the elevator another couple of hours because there's only like 10 or 20 people in the elevator. And it was insane. There was hundreds and hundreds of people here. So I'm actually on the outside terrace right now. So this is the outside terrace. And I'm going to cut to another video of me on the glass floor. Now, I'm a little bit scared on the glass floor, but I'm going to check that out too. So as you can see, I'm looking uh, towards Osan. Am I? No, I'm looking towards Gui. And there's the Olympic Village. And uh, that, that, that sky, I mean, just look at that. That is, you, you just can't even get any better. So there's no wind up here. I'm surprised. I've been to the CN Tower and the outdoor terrace on the CN Tower in Toronto. And I've been to the Burj uh, Dubai, and they have also a screened um, floor there as well. And uh, very windy, but here today, it, the wind is very calm. Uh, so this has not been the highest I've ever been. So I've been, I've been much higher than this. At the Burj Dubai, I was 650 meters up there. And here I'm only uh, just under shy of 500 meters. So, um, yeah, you guys definitely have to come out here too. This has been the highlight of, uh, of my week. Uh, I've had my friend Sean. Everybody, Sean, say hi. Hey. He's been a little bit camera shy this week, but uh, he's my high school friend from Canada. He's been visiting me for the last week. Today is his seventh day in Seoul, and we came here. I've been taking him out and around doing the tourist things. Uh, and as you saw my last blog post, I mentioned the things that we did. So, you know, uh, Friday we went to Gangnam, Apujang, we went to Yeouido, Noryeonjing Fish Market, uh, the palaces, City Hall, Cheonggichong, Gwanghamun. Uh, we went to a traditional market. We've eaten Korean food. We've done that whole thing. Uh, we also yesterday went hanbok shopping for his daughter. And we went to the palaces. So we've done that. And then we came here on Tuesday. And as I said, it was just insanely packed because it was part of the holiday. So today the holiday is done. So we came here. There's nobody here. I mean, look at this. There's there's three other people here. There's nobody. It's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The lineup, there was nobody. It was nothing. So you definitely have to come out here. This was definitely the highlight. I'm, I'm telling you. I've lived in Korea for 10 years. And this has by far been one of the most amazing parts of the trip. Uh, parts of uh, coming out to Seoul that I have ever done. You know, uh, you just living here for 10 years and getting to see the city in this light, in this view, um, is just, you know, uh, something that uh, everybody here should do, you know, and wow, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. 
There's only a few more floors above me. So we went upstairs, we had a beer, uh, which was insanely expensive at the 123 Lounge. Wow, <laughs> let me tell you. It was 20 bucks for a draft. The cheapest thing you could have was an Evian for $8. Uh, really expensive, but it was definitely worth it to chill out there and relax. Do not come here on a weekend. Do not come here on a holiday. They, you'll just, you will not enjoy it. You come here on a day off that you have on a weekday. You come early in the morning, say around 11, 30, 12 o'clock. You spend two or three hours here and you just chill out and relax. You're not stressed. You're not rushed to get through everything because there's people behind you. Uh, there's no time limit on how long you can stay here today. Maybe on the holidays they do time you, but uh, there's nothing going on here today. So uh, my next video, I'm going to cut to the glass floor. I'll see you guys there in a minute. Itaewon Sammy out. Itaewon Sammy back here with you at Lotte uh, Soul Sky. And uh, here's the part that I don't like. Uh, the glass floor. It is insane. This is, I have a little bit of vertigo. I'm not afraid of heights. I just got a little vertigo. So I'm not going to be able to look down, but I can definitely walk on it with the camera on, right? So I can do this. But the second I look down, <laughs> I lose my cookies. I can't look down. I can look up, I can look through the camera, I can do this. But I cannot look down. It's impossible for me to look down. I, I, I just, my legs buckle when I do that. So we're about 475 meters up, looking straight down uh, into the uh, Lotte World Pool. And as you can see behind me, beautiful views, beautiful sky. And it's funny to watch uh, the kids. The kids don't, aren't scared. The kids aren't scared. It's the adults that are scared. So it's hilarious. I can't look down. Okay, I gotta try to look down. Okay, watch what happens. Oh, <laughs> I can't look down. Oh, so they closed it up. Uh, I don't know what they just did. So, anyway, uh, it's crazy out here. Uh, again, this is some of the things that you got to do. You got to come and check this place out. Itaewon Sammy, Seoul Sky, out. And just a quick cut here, Itaewon Sammy, looking towards Itaewon, as you can see in the background there. Again, on the uh, outdoor terrace, as you can see. What a beautiful view. I mean, look at that. That sky is... Amazing. So, Itaewon is right about there. I don't know if you can see Namsan Tower. We have the Han River here. And below me is Chamshil. And you have Gangnam over here no yes over here and there's the olympic village right there but still what an amazing view couldn't have picked a better day absolutely beautiful itaewon sammy out Itaewon Sammy here. I'm walking on the glass floor, but I'm not looking down. I've been looking down like occasionally like this. And when I'm looking at the building, the building side like over here, over here, it's okay. But when I turn around and I look at the, uh, at the city side, that's when I lose it. That's when I lose my cookies, man. I can't handle looking at this part. So now what they do is they do a little trick and they close the screen and then they uh, snap it open. Oh, just the, the reactions of people is hilarious. And the kids aren't scared. That's the fun part is the kids, the little kids aren't scared. It's all the adults that are freaking out. 
There's the fun part. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Get you one, Sammy. Out. And I just came over to the other side of the tower. This is the sunny side of the tower. Uh, looking out towards uh, Itaewon and uh, that side. And again, this floor is insane. I mean, take a look at the streets. And looking at the cars is what makes you really, really dizzy. Looking at all those cars down there traveling by. It's just that's what makes you look dizzy. I mean, the bridge and all the vehicles, that's what gets me going. When I look down here, I can't handle it. I, on the other side, that I can handle a little bit, but when I look down, oh, nope, nope, not looking down. Not looking down. Because when I look at the cars, I can get a, 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 a spatial relation as to how far away I am from them. So, yeah. Now, when I look down from an airplane, no problem. Absolutely no problem. But when I look down from here, nope, not gonna happen. All those little cars there, that freaks me out. Can't handle it. But, I mean, take a look, these, these kids, these kids, they love it. They're, they're, they're not freaking, look at that. Just absolutely not scared at all. I cannot look down. Through a camera, I can look down, but not. Yeah, can't do it. Ite Watsami, out. Here we are coming down the elevator, and as you can see, from the 121st floor and 480 meters, we drop down to the basement level in less than a minute. There go the ears. Near the Lotte World Complex. With Lotte World Tower at the center, you can enjoy a variety of attractions that look beautiful during the night, including the fireworks show at Sultong Lake. Other than the uh, pressure in the ears, you don't even feel the elevator coming down. I mean, it's uh, less than a minute. So about, uh, what, 58 seconds that it took us to get down here. And other than the ear pressure and the braking, don't even feel it. And welcome to the first floor.